In this fun video I will show you how to convert metric length of measurement to inches and fractions of an inch or feet inches and fractions of an inch and we will also do it backwards going from inches or feet inches and a fraction of an inch go back to metric. Well, let's get started with uh, how about a uh, metric? Let's say a person says that uh, his or her height is 185 centimeters. What is 185 centimeters in inches or feet or something that relates to uh, <clears throat> those units of measurement? Well, we know that uh, one inch is exactly 25.4 millimeters as your conversion factor and because it is a decimal with only one digit it's fairly easy to memorize 25.4 it doesn't have any more decimal places it is exactly 25.4 so it's a nice and easy round number so what do we do with this 125 centimeters and so many millimeters? Well, we can do either 185 centimeters is 1850 millimeters and it gets divided by 25.4 millimeters or we can do 185 centimeters and divide it by 2.54 centimeters either way it's gonna be the same result because that is the same as that and let's do 185 divided by 2.54 equals 72.8346 inches that's nice, now we have an inch decimal. What do we do with an inch decimal? 72 inches plus 0.83 of an inch. So 72 inches plus a little, plus three quarters of an inch or so. It's a little more than three quarters of an inch. We have an inch decimal, we have to convert. This is a, a decimal, decimal inch. We have a decimal value there. A decimal inch must be converted to inches and fractions. So that's 72 inches. And let's make a fraction out of that one. How about just for time and simplicity's sake, we just work with these first four digits. And uh, But we don't have to. We can just subtract 72 from the answer and we have all the digits that we had before without the whole number the 72 let's say we want to make 16th of an inch out of this one uh, I uh, okay I started with those four digits there if we want we can make an 8346 over 10,000 10, over 10,000 that's a nice fraction but it's not on the tape measure. It's not a very useful fracture. And six is an even number and 10,000 is also an even number. And that this may only reduce to 4,000 and something over 5,000. And if it doesn't reduce any further, if it doesn't have any lower terms, we are stuck with it. So instead of going this route, just go with all the decimal digits and let's try to make 16th out of it. To do that, you have to multiply all of those decimal digits by 16 and see what we get. We get 13 sixteenth out of it. Where is the 13 sixteenth? Well, this number is going to give you the numerator and this number is your denominator. Now this is 13.3. Now, realistically this should be then 13.3 sixteenth but there is no such fraction as 13.3 sixteenth so we'll just call it a touch more than 13 sixteenth okay 
and uh, 72 inches is otherwise uh, exactly six feet how do we make feet out of it 72 must be 72 must be divided by 12 because there's 12 inches in 72 inches so, sorry it's 12 inches in a foot and that's gonna give you six feet zero inches and 13 16 of an inch so if somebody is a, has a height of 185 centimeters then it is six feet zero inches and 13 16 of an inch now uh, the, an easy way to do it is let's say just pull a tape measure that has feet on one side let's see if the camera can focus on this one maybe here uh-huh feet and inches on one along one edge here the upper edge and millimeters and centimeters on the lower edge here and let's just go to 185 centimeters and uh, see what we find there let me just put it down here and we'll zoom in that's easier Oops. sorry just fell off the end of the bench there 185 centimeters can be found right about there where the arrow is pointing mm -hmm. here is 180 centimeters and here is 185 centimeters it is a little over six feet just like we calculated and we calculated 13 sixteenths of an inch so uh, this one is three quarters here three quarters is 12 sixteenth and there is 13 sixteenth is there that line there and that pretty much lines up with 185 centimeter mark that's pretty close so that this conversion worked let's zoom out let's do another conversion the other way around for example somebody says that uh, his or her height is uh, I don't know five feet uh, eight inches and uh, quarter how about that five feet eight inches and a quarter now we need to have we need to make inches and an inch decimal out of it to make it work five feet is five times twelve that's sixty inches plus eight and a quarter equals sixty eight and a quarter inches sixty eight and a quarter inches for the person's height now that's sixty eight and a quarter out of this quarter we need to make a decimal we know that uh, quarter inches 0.25 so that's the end of that story we have an inch decimal 68.25 and once we have the inch decimal the inch decimal gets multiplied by it depends what we want we do we want centimeters let's go for centimeters and multiply it by 2.54 centimeter and see what we get out of this one 68.25 times by 2.54 equals the person's height is 173.3 centimeters but just like we had a little bit of decimal digits with the 13 16th that I uh, ignored because it's a microscopic command the same way that anything anything after this digit like we have it on the calculator is a five five but well that's five hundredths of a centimeter so these are centimeters that's millimeter we can find one thousand seven hundred and thirty three millimeters and that would be half a millimeter and another five that's microscopic amount don't worry about it let's see if it checks out let's go to Let's go to 173 centimeters, which is here, 
three is there. This is 1733 millimeters. Yeah, just come on in closer so you can have a better look at this tape here. Mm, there, yeah, so there is 1733 millimeters. Does it really line up with 68 inches and a quarter? It looks like it does. It's pretty close wherever I made this pencil smudge here. There's the 68 and a quarter mark. I uh, marked it with an arrow and it's pretty close to uh, 1733 millimeters is there. Marked with that arrow. There we go. If you really want to go microscopic, you can see that they actually line up pretty well. Except that my pencil mark is just a little bit away from the third millimeter line in the 1733 millimeter mark. So I'm just off with my pencil line a little bit, but so they are pretty close. I say this conversion works if you don't like doing the math. Uh, you can just uh, buy yourself a tape and uh, and uh, just use it without doing the math. Uh, you might although need to know how to do it on a piece of paper with a pencil if you have uh, like a building's length to convert and that's a tricky tape measure to pull. Uh, that's a pretty trick. That's a that's a tricky uh, situation to pull off. So. That's how to do the math, fairly straightforward, there's your conversion factor. Just uh, keep in mind, are you dividing with it or are you multiplying with it? And you have to have inch decimals for a multiplication and after a division you have to make out of an inch decimal, you have to make some kind of meaningful fraction. So that's basically how to convert a metric length to a length in inches.